Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Mark Brower from Bethel Church, and I'm here with some midweek teaching about 10 things that mentally strong people do uh, in times of crisis, like, for example, our current time of uh, pandemic. So a term that I have keep, keep coming across lately is resilience. And um, this is a term that psychologists are using sort of as an overarching term for people who are able to handle mentally, uh, spiritually, emotionally, just life challenges and not get overwhelmed. You know, what is it that separates someone who can who can go through those challenging times and and be OK versus someone who falls apart? What does this resilience look like? So I came across an article uh, in Psychology Today about this, and it was this title that I'm borrowing, 10 Things Mentally Strong People Do. and I. Um, I thought about it. There's a lot that I really liked in that article, and it was not, of course, written from a Christian perspective. It was a, a secular therapist writing this, and uh, but there was some helpful wisdom in it. And I thought, you know, there's there's other perspectives that I would have as a as a follower of Christ, um, recognizing how God empowers us and God enables us, and the way that we connect to God strengthens us. So. I uh, took some of the things that that I have thought and experienced, and the things that I've read as a as a Christian pastor, and connected those, combined those with some of these other thoughts. Um, and again, the article was really pointing a lot to to various studies about that you know differentiate between a resilient person versus a non resilient person. And so I wrote an article about this, and I'm going to put a link to the article in the uh, notes underneath the video here in, in YouTube, so you can read the article and, and expand on it. But um, just real quickly, uh, in this video, let me just share with you what I believe these 10 things are. And, and you know, obviously, this is not meant to be an exhaustive list. It's just uh, some, some practices, some things to keep in mind. So. Um, and, and I would also say that I believe there's a connection between someone who is spiritually strong and someone who is mentally strong. And when uh, a psychologist talks about being mentally strong, that's not necessarily about having a high IQ, but it's it's having the the resilience to deal with the uh, the, the common maladies of mental health, addiction. Uh, anxiety and depression. So, so what is happening in the way that we approach life that enables us to stand strong uh, and avoid those pitfalls? So, here's here's ten things. First, mentally strong people and spiritually strong people. Number one, regularly take time to connect with God. Um, and uh, again, in the article, I give some research for this or that that backs this up. But when we connect with God in prayer in time you know, taking in um, from the scriptures. When we, when we connect to God, uh, it empowers us and enables us to have a deeper level of faith, deeper level of confidence, overcome stress. So that would be the obvious one, I think, for us as Christians. Secondly, uh, mentally strong people gather with other supportive friends. They make time to connect with other supportive friends. Uh, there's many teachings in scripture about how much we need other people and the fellowship and the support that is sort of like the essential ingredient of the Christian life. Well, once again, psychological studies bear this out, that people who connect with others, um, it, it enables them to, to be strong in the face of a lot of challenges. So the third thing that mentally strong people do is they limit news and media exposure. Um, so I mentioned this in the article. Let me, just let me say this in the video here, that um, research points out two main predictors uh, about how well a person is going to respond to a crisis. The first factor is uh, what their emotional state, what their mental state was before the crisis happened. The second is how much news they consume during the crisis. And the amount of news that someone consumes during the crisis has a inverse relationship with how well they're doing. So um, it's not necessarily that ignorance is bliss, 
uh, but there's ways to be ignorant without uh, becoming overexposed to shocking, stressful news and, uh, and media that we encounter today. And number four, uh, mentally strong people accept their feelings as normal. Um, we don't beat ourselves up when we have negative uh, emotions. If we ha are want to maintain mental health, we recognize that when bad things happen, we're going to have sadness and fear and, and even anger. Those things are normal. We work through them rather than try to deny them. Number five, they carefully choose the leaders that they follow. Um, there are a lot of voices speaking to our current situation. And um, there, are, there are voices and there's a kind of leadership that comes out of a unhealthy place and a mentally unhealthy place and leads to a mentally unhealthy place. And so, um, you know, when, when we are listening to voices and following people who are lying consistently, who are exaggerating consistently, who are scapegoating consistently, um, it is damaging for us. Um, here's a quote from the article. It is both confusing and psychologically harmful to watch leaders who publicly argue and misstate the facts and the research. Um, again, in the article, I go into that in a little bit more depth. Now, related to one of the things I mentioned earlier, uh, the, I think it was point number four, that uh, mentally strong people, or rather number three, they limit news and media exposure. But number six, they limit social media exposure. Uh, there's, a, again, a, a negative correlation between social media use and mental well-being. Number seven, they display self-compassion for a lack of productivity. This is something that over the months uh, I have noticed and I've heard a lot of people talk about, but, but uh, struggled to understand what was really going on. And it has to do with... Um, well, a, a way to think about it is um, Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And um, he's created this, this, uh, this framework where uh, we have these base level needs and only until these base level needs are met, are we, when, when those things get met, then we're able to deal with the higher, higher level of things, love and belonging, esteem. And then, of course, the top one is self-actualization and, and, you know, creative activity. But when those lower level needs are not met, uh, things like safety and our physiological needs, um, then we struggle. We, we don't really have the bandwidth to do those other things. And so when we are struggling with those lower level things, which many of us are during this time, um, it is normal that we would be, we'd have less emotional and psychological energy for other things. Number eight, mentally strong people focus on facts. Um, and and it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, the cognitive distortions, the exaggerations that we are exposed to so often if we're not careful. Uh, we can we can internalize that stuff and then catastrophize in our minds. Um, so part of uh, living with emotional and mental health during this time is to be aware of what the truth is and and keeping that uh, perspective rather than jumping to conclusions and and uh, again living with uh, unrealistic thoughts. Number nine. Uh, mentally healthy people limit their exposure to toxic people. Uh, mentally healthy people, mentally strong people understand that other people influence us uh, in powerful ways. And so they pay a lot of attention to that. Um, and number 10, they focus on self-care. Uh, self-care is not about being selfish. It's about taking care of your needs so that you're available to care for and help other people. So again, I hope you um, find this helpful, but, but read the article and you get more of the background to it. And whatever the strategy 
is that is sort of the most needful for you. Pay some special attention to that in the next little while. And hopefully we can get through this time uh, with mental strength and spiritual strength. Have a great day.